Hello, and welcome to this chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help you get familiar with using Corel's Video Studio Pro X2. In today's short lesson, I'm going to show you how to create titles and add text to your movie. Not only does Video Studio Pro X2 contain an extensive gallery of pre-made animated titles, but you can create just about any title from scratch, adjust the style, format, and add animations. You can also create subtitles, where they're all automatically placed in the bottom center of each scene. Not only all this, but the various wizards in Video Studio Pro X2 also create titles that are completely editable. Of course, titles don't have to be limited to the start of a movie. Text can be added at any point to create captions, people and place names, funny comments, and more. Then, after you create your custom titles on your timeline, simply drag them back to the title gallery to reuse them in a future production. And it's so easy to use. If you can use a word processor, you can create titles in Video Studio Pro X2. You can even utilize guides and grid lines to align your text just right. I won't be able to show you all these options in today's tutorial, so feel free to open up the Video Studio help file and learn more. Let's get started. I've quickly produced the basics of my movie using the movie wizard. You'll notice that the theme I've added has created some text for me that I can edit. Editable text is indicated by the blue lines in my playback window. So after I move my playback head over the first one, I can simply double click on the text and do some editing. Let's first adjust the font size by clicking the text properties icon here. Note some of the other options we also have available. Then I'll double click the text again and rewrite it. Click away and position it just right. Notice also the text I just created has been added to this drop down menu here so I can use it elsewhere in my production if I like. I'm going to leave the text at the end alone and jump now to the Video Studio Editor. Jumping to the point I just edited in the Movie Wizard, you'll see the text has been carried forward. But now let's create and edit some more. Let's try one completely from scratch. I'm going to go to the place on my timeline where our pickup truck arrives at the launch site. By selecting the Title tab at the top, all my necessary tools and options automatically become available. Now I'll double click the text in the video window and set some options again. Again, I'm going to reduce the font size a little bit. Then I'll hit enter and start typing. Now let's add a style to this text. This text is just like the previous style I had, so let's change it by clicking this drop down here. And you'll notice again, a lot of these pre-built choices that come with Video Studio. Let's select this one. Now let's add an animation by selecting the animation tab here. We have many choices to choose from from many different categories here. I'm going to go to the fly category and select the very first one. But I don't want the text going vertical. I would like it to go horizontal. So I'll click the customize animation attributes icon here and set it to enter from the right and leave to the left. And I'm going to set a pause to be intermediate in between. Click OK, and you'll see this line here represents the length of my pause and can be adjusted by grabbing either end. So what I'll do is I'll make it enter slowly, pause for a little bit, and then leave rapidly. And then I'll make sure in my timeline, the text clip is the same duration as the clip of my pickup truck. And play this back. And there we have it. OK, one last method here. What if I want to add a title but have no video? A usual place for this to happen is at the beginning or the end, right? So let's add a quick beginning title. For this, I'll use one of the many blank color chips in my color library here. But before I drop a color chip or anything else for that matter at the start or the middle of my video, I need to make sure I have ripple editing turned on. This will assure every track shifts to the right correctly as I drop something in. Now I'll drop in the color chip. I can right click to set the duration of I like. Go back to my title library. Choose an appropriate title and simply drop it down into my text track. Both of them happen to default to three second time frames. And I'll click playback just to show you the results. How easy was that? Well, thanks again and I'll see you in a future lesson.